camels store water on these bumps on their back. Oh, never mind. I thought camels stored water on their back, but I was wrong. People have a lot of misconceptions about desert animals, but today we'll discover the truth. Let's begin here in the Sonoran Desert. This is a rabbit. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a rabbit, but again, I was wrong. This is not a rabbit because take a look at its head. Notice that eye color. They're kind of amber. Well, compare that to this second animal. This animal's eyes are a much darker brown. The animal with dark brown eyes is a rabbit. And the animal with amber eyes is something different. It looks like a rabbit, but it has longer ears and longer legs too. The ambered eyed animal is a hare. Hares are not rabbits. They're an entirely different species, as closely related as cheetahs and lions. Hares have amber eyes. I have blue eyes. And you eat parasitic desert insects all the time. These ones. This is a dried cochineal. It's an insect. When they're alive, they look like this. You can see it has six little legs, and this part is its mouth. They grow exclusively on prickly pear cactuses, but you might be surprised where else they show up. Watch closely. If I crush a small pile of these insects, scoop them up, and pour them into a vial of warm water. The water turns a deep red. This red liquid can act as a red dye. I wonder what it's used in. Well, look here. If I take this candy, turn it around, and look at the ingredients list, I'll find the ingredient carmine color. Carmine color is a name for this dye that's made by crushing up these parasitic insects. It's also listed under these names too. Guess which of these products have desert insects in them? They all do. Every single one of these products gets its red color from crushed up parasitic desert insects that live on prickly pear cactuses. Ostriches don't live on cactuses, but they do have large eggs. This is an ostrich egg. It's the largest bird egg. Okay. I thought ostrich eggs were the largest bird egg, but that's not true. So let's work our way up to the actual largest. This is a quail egg. This is a chicken egg. Here's an emu egg, an ostrich egg, and this is the world's biggest bird egg. This is a model, but it's the same size as the actual egg, a little over one foot tall. Here it is next to the rest. These giant eggs were laid by a bird that went extinct a thousand years ago, named the elephant bird. Giraffes are not extinct. Some live in the deserts of Namibia, but 
I always wondered, what sound do giraffes make? Maybe they don't make sounds at all. Oh, that's not true. Giraffes do make sounds, strange sounds. Just listen to this. This is the sound that giraffes make at night. Camels also make sounds. And they store water in their humps. Oh, sorry, we've already gone over this. I thought camels stored water in their humps, but that's not true. Camel humps are not used to store water. Because look here, every anatomical drawing of a camel shows the same thing. This weird yellowish blob in the hump. This is fat. Camel humps don't store water, they store fat. So why do camels have humps in the first place? Well, take a look at this scan of a human body. See this line on the body's outer edge? That's body fat. Now watch as the amount of fat increases. Notice how the fat is added evenly throughout the entire body. Most animals add fat just like this. It's kind of like being outside and putting on a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Camels do things a little differently. When they add more fat, it's not distributed evenly throughout their body. Instead, it's added here to their back. This is kind of like putting that sweatshirt and sweatpants in a backpack and wearing it on your back. So which one of these would help you stay cooler under the hot desert sun? This one. Camels are kind of like animals that store all of their fat in a backpack. That's why they have humps. Not to store water, but instead to stay cool. And that's just the beginning. The Roadrunner isn't just a cartoon. It's an actual desert bird. Dung beetles don't eat their balls of dung. They lay eggs in them. Elephants live in deserts, and they're extremely afraid of bees, which is why people build elephant fences out of beehives. Here's how they work. This is a beehive suspended by a bunch of wires that are linked to this beehive hanging next to it. If an elephant tries to get through, it will push the wire, shaking the hive and disturbing the bees, making the elephant run away. These beehive fences were built to guide elephants away from dangerous towns and towards safe conservation areas. They're part of a Planet Wild project. And every month, Planet Wild teams up with a conservation organization and documents their work on YouTube to show what we, as a community, helped achieve. Because Planet Wild is primarily funded through member contributions. Your contribution goes directly to these projects. You can give whatever amount feels right to you, but the first 200 people who use this code to sign up will get the first month of a Planet Wild membership paid for by me personally. After that, if you don't feel like supporting Planet Wild anymore, you can cancel any time. So you sign up and use this code to save some animals. It's free. To join, scan this QR code or use the link in the description and you can watch their mission video about saving elephants here.